Hi there. In this video, we are going to learn a very important topic that is called as request response chaining. So when you're working into a live project, right, you create workflows. One workflow could be, for example, you log in, right, you add a product to your cart, you purchase that product and you log out. That's a workflow, all right? So we are going to see how we can do the same into Postman. So this far what we have done is we have executed all our requests into isolation. Now in this video we are going to learn how can we make chain between these two, these these requests right to build up a workflow. So this is what we are going to do. So in this example you could see that there is one post request and there is an, the other one is a put request right. So whatever resource that I am going to create from this request right I want to update that. And to do so, I need to provide the ID of the resource which I'm updating. And when I create this record in the response, I get the ID. So then all I need to do that, fetch that ID and store it into the environment variable so that this request can retrieve that. Okay, that's a whole use of a uh, whole purpose of, you know, uh, variables into Postman. Great. Now, open our Postman. Okay, and this is the collection and in that there is a folder and then there are five requests inside that folder. So first one is your post, right? So whatever record we are going to create, we are going to read its ID, right? And we are saying that from response, we have to do that. So whatever code that we are going to write, we are going to write that in the test section. Once we have access to that ID, we are going to supply that ID to the get, put, patch and delete. And this is where we have currently hard coded the value. So we are going to replace that with the value being stored in the environment variable. Okay, it's that simple. So we come here and let me create a variable which is going to store a response. And response is pm dot response dot json so i'm converting the response into a javascript object so that i can make use of member access operator to retrieve the id okay so i'll be storing that id into this variable and it's going to be response dot id okay and the next step that i have to do is pm dot environment dot set and i have to set what set this id okay so this one is done let's save that and now supply this id to all the other requests so it's going to be id and let me copy this we save this request i hope i have also saved this right and also close so I worked on get now put let us make a change it's saved patch and I'm sure you have watched my videos on all these verbs right post get put patch delete so patch is also done delete simple so what we have essentially done is with three lines of code right we have built up a chain of requests okay and all now you need to do is and before we do that let's okay uh, give me a second let's execute this so you currently see four record and now because we are doing the CRUD operation, so at the end we are deleting the resource we are creating, which means that after the collection is executed, I should still see only four records within the database. Okay, so let's open the collection runner. Click on run. And we have a dependency on an environment animal so click on run chaining and you see a record is created right and 
this was the request body okay and if we see here the request url the id was 86 okay so in here as well 86 so is the case into patch 86 and then eventually we deleted that so id 86 let's check that into our database as well we do not have any record with id 86 okay so we have successfully executed a collection in which we made the chaining between these requests right what else can you do for example you know that you know uh, you have to the best approach is to work on our own data because we know then what we are expecting in the response so what you can essentially do is when we'll start writing the test cases we are going to verify this data okay uh, in the get request so when we send the id we expect this record to be created so we are going to validate all these all this data in the put we are going to update and then we are going to check that you know whether the record is being updated or not uh, in the patch we apply the patch and eventually delete it so we can we can extend it as much as we want important is you know to build up a chain between all these requests and it's very simple right just read things from your response and store that into environment variable and subsequent requests read those values from your environment variable that's the whole purpose of uh, you know uh, introducing variables into postman all right so this is about request chaining thank you so much i hope you like the video thank you